Hey guys, and welcome back to another flashlight review. Today, I've got something really special, something quite unique that I've not seen before. And having over a hundred, owned over a hundred different flashlights, I really thought I'd seen it all, but apparently not. Now, this is the Next Torch P86, and Next Torch were kind enough to send me a free sample of the P86 for me to review in this video. And it's a very interesting design that hides some special features I've never seen in a flashlight before, namely the 120 decibel electronic whistle. And I think this would be useful if you're working in something like crowd control or traffic management, any type of role that you might need to get attention quickly or just direct people onwards, especially where there's you know, a lot of ambient noise. So let's see how the P86 works and whether it's worth considering or not. So in terms of what you get with the Nextorch P86, these are the essentials. They also include a charging cable, USB-C charging cable, which are very easily found and some spare O-rings. You get a instruction manual here. Very simple, easy to understand instruction manual. It's just one basically just one page like this. Again, 18650 cell, 2600 milliamp hour cell. I've also got here the Next Torch P84, which is the model that came before it. I wouldn't say it's even the predecessor. They're just two very different flashlights. And uh, you can see with the P84, it's got these warning, these kind of auxiliary warning LEDs here on the head, okay, whereas with the P86, you have this whistle, this electronic whistle that you activate using that top button here. I don't want to activate it right now, but I will show you over right at the end of the beam shots how it works. It's extremely loud. You have also just this bottom button that you access the main features on the light, but you know, both of these, I'd say this is more of like a light signaling, you know, with these auxiliary lights, maybe it uses a warning light or something like that. This one here doesn't have any of that, these auxiliary lights, but you've just got that whistle function. So here's a little close up of the P86. And one thing that I noticed about this light straight away was the thicker walls. I'll just unscrew the back, look at that. Look at how thick these walls are. They're like over two millimeters, two millimeters thick. And comparing it to the P84, it's almost uh, more than twice the thickness of the P84. So the head of the light also is a bit thicker. Okay, more so just around here where the whistle cutouts are. Okay, top of the light, I'm really not sure. I'm assuming it's all the way through. Okay, and I think this is good news because it's definitely going to increase the durability of this light significantly compared to the P84. I found that the anodizing on these Next Torch lights to be extremely durable, grippy compared to other brands out there. And it could be due to the thickness and the grade of the coating. The machining is perfect too, as you can see, just no imperfections whatsoever. They've got Great quality control, really underrated. Tail cap is pretty basic, just screws on. It's got a basic spring underneath there, but it is a side switch, side switch flashlight. It's well machined, and uh, you've got square cut threads as well. Okay, very smooth and nicely lubricated. Um, you know, one thing that Next Torch have done have, is that they've also upgraded these two switches here on the side so that they're now made of anodized aluminium. This further increases the durability, but you know, you've also got these uh, four battery indicator lights that were present in the, the previous model as well. Okay, just screw this on and show you how it works but basically you just uh, turn the light on and it tells you here what the battery level is like okay so four bars so here on the head of the flashlight you can see there are four holes and this is to allow the whistle the sound from the whistle 
to come out in all 360 degrees in all directions and it doesn't affect the waterproof rating it's still waterproof to one meter and I have to say the noise on this that this thing produces is extremely loud I can't emphasize that enough and when I'm using it when I'm using that whistle I just have to hold I've got this urge to hold the light as far away from me as possible when operating it and you know, I've got this unscrewable head as well I thought it would be a good thing to show you just this unscrewable head here so that gives you access to the USB port love this feature I wish it was present on more lights but it is probably difficult to to integrate that into into many lights it takes a little bit more a little bit more effort and machining looking at the head of the flashlight a nice little bezel so this stainless steel bezel three glass breaking beads ceramic glass breaking beads the emitter in there the next torch haven't specified what it is but i'm pretty sure it's a p9 led in there so just produces it looks like a p9 compared to some of the other lights has and has similar characteristics as well nice orange peel reflector in there kind of a light light orange peel and the great thing about next torch is that i've never seen them like have a speck of dust underneath there the quality control is just so impressive this glass lens as well so let's go through the ui and just show you some basics now the top button there is for the whistle i'm not going to activate it right now but in the beam shots right at the end i will activate it uh, just sort of walk around and use it at different distances so you can see what it's like it's extremely bright uh it's extremely loud i don't want to deafen myself right now this button here on the side essentially it just activates the main led so if you press down fully it just goes to medium mode okay medium mode all the time and then you half press and it goes to low high medium low okay you can also half press okay to access momentary mode on high okay but if you full press it goes in to medium i think what i really like about next torch is that they just have these simple uis that anyone can figure out you don't even have to read the instruction manual and uh, these days i think simpler is better for me as long as it's got the functions that i need in there you know i'm pretty happy so here are a bunch of ceiling bounce tests that i ran with the p86 and you can see here on the high mode i've activated that light 100 percent and even after two minutes, about two, maybe three minutes, two minutes, 30 seconds, something like that, you can see the light starts to step down, but you get two and a, two and a half minutes of runtime on 100%. That is really impressive. And it owes to this kind of these thicker walls, okay, it provides extra heat sinking. And the fact that the LED in here isn't over overpowered as well you know 1700 lumen output in there it's very respectable but if you've got a light producing you know 3000 something lumens that's really gonna heat up quite quickly you can see even about after the two minute mode the step down just comes very gradually until about six minutes uh, where the light steps down to 30 percent of its overall output. I ran a second ceiling bounce test and this is just on the medium mode. You can see here, light holds the 100% output all the way past the 12 minute mark. So quite impressive. And it's good to know that you have a solid medium mode there because that's the mode that you use for most things. You're not gonna have that thing on high all the time just for bits and pieces where you might need to use momentary or something like that. Here are some tests I also ran with my Opal Light Master Pro and you can see here on the highest mode I got 320 meters of throw which is quite impressive but again at the same time I'm not too surprised given that the size of the reflector the bezel is quite significant. On medium 122 meters, low 41 meters, CRI was between 70 to 71, no surprises there. 
And if you look at the CCT, basically between 6,100 to 6,400 K. Some considerations that you need to be aware of before you buy this light. Now, I'd classify this pretty much as a special use flashlight. So in other words, it's one that you'd use if you were in a particular job, maybe security, train conductor, uh, traffic control, law enforcement, potentially you're out on a farm and you need to scare off animals or move cattle along on a farm. I think it can also be useful if you want to draw attention to yourself in a self-defense situation, even maybe to deter someone and frighten them because, like I said, this thing is ridiculously loud um, at close range. The issue is that it also affects the person using it and I scared myself more than a few times by accidentally activating the whistle during my review of this light. And one thing I would suggest the next torch is just to design the buttons a bit differently, maybe just space them out a little further to mitigate this issue. The whistle vents, I think also they come out the side here, but potentially if it was a way to redesign them so that they could face forwards, uh, I guess have more of a directionality to them that could potentially reduce the impact to the operator and increase the utility as a self-defense tool. If you can actually point it at someone, it's kind of like the flashlight, how it has a reflector, you know. But again, the 360 degree design could be useful. Maybe you're trying to alert people nearby in all different directions. And you don't need to be in any of those professions I listed before, even if you want to get this light. It's just something that I thought would be more suited to someone in that particular role. Like I said, it's quite a unique flashlight. You might, you might just want one. Second thing to be aware of is that this light produces 1600 lumens. Okay, it's pretty respectable for any flashlight, but the P84, which is the previous model, produces 3000 lumens, does come with a larger 21700 cell. And if you look at them side by side, they're pretty much the same size. So it really just comes down to what features you need in a flashlight. But overall, I think this is a very solid performing light. Comes with that twist. It's one of its kind. It's the only one that I know. Light that comes with a 120 decibel, genuine 120 decibel electronic whistle. And I like that Next Torch have done something different. Even if it's just a light that's not designed for a larger audience in mind, you know, it's always good to see manufacturers doing something different and, and just stretching the boundaries of what a flashlight can actually do. I can't fault the overall performance of this light. And I like that the medium mode as well has great sustained output. I've noticed that Next Torch make lights for specific purposes. And the previous P84 model, like I mentioned, has that omnidirectional signal light. So it would be useful for traffic controllers, maybe law enforcement. And this one here, similar sort of deal. So if you're interested in getting it, I have a link down in the description. You can get a special discount if you use my code. If you have questions, anything that I potentially haven't covered in this video, just let me know down in the comments and I'll get back to you. And yeah, if you like the video, do me a favor and click the like button. It helps me to get the video out to more people and yeah, it just helps to support me in this channel. And if you want to keep up to date with the newest flashlights out there, then make sure you subscribe. Next torch, P86 here. Really fascinating torch that has a whistle on it. We're going to use that in a moment, but before, I want to just show you the, uh, the amazing output, 1,600 lumens. Right at the top there. Um, and I love this really nice balanced beam. Okay, this is the highest mode now if you go on basically you can just switch in between the three modes that's the lowest mode okay but it just goes from high medium low high medium low high medium low okay lots of spill super impressive In the throw, I mean, you can see all the way into those trees 
very easily as well right into the bottom of those trees and that's what you get when you have a larger reflector like this it's just no competition really okay and of course you can just hold down the button for that momentary mode and I like how simple the UI is one two three one two three easy I mean there's no thinking required at all if you press that button down it just goes um, to that medium mode okay every time it just goes to that medium mode so momentary is always as you can see the highest mode but uh, you have to switch it manually to the to the highest mode if you uh, if you want it to be constant on go for a little walk and I'll actually test this whistle out as well let's see how how it sounds actually maybe activate it at the same time yeah, you can activate it at the same time